I've been expecting an order from ReadyToFlyQuads.com. Um, he seems to be the guy, I think it's one guy, who specializes in multi-Wii um, and stuff is uh, apparently uh, ready to go. That he can pre-flash the uh, the multi-Wii boards with um, the firmware of your choice. Now, I got the multi-Wii, um, actually the Flip Pro, and I think it just comes in in Quad X. Anyways, I received it. It came in a manila padded envelope. I ordered it, I believe, June 26th. Today is June, uh, sorry, July 25th. Uh, now, according to his website, it takes him a week or two to get an order out, which is pretty slow. And I've, I've read on RC groups and stuff that he he ships, um, uh, he's just a single man operation. He ships, I don't know, I guess every couple of days maybe, and he's really busy. But anyways, it does seem like a, a bit long of a time to wait for an order to ship. Now, I'm in Canada and it took, well, basically a month to get to me. Uh, I don't know. I hear he's pretty good to deal with. I can't remember his name, but uh, anyways, it took me a month to get it for this little tiny board. Um, so anyways, enough about that. So I ordered the the Flip Pro. Um, this is the receiver wire set for an additional, I believe, three dollars. And it came with a set of pins. So anyways, it came all packaged up like that. So I think he must seal it in a bag or, or something because it's uh, he must do the orders uh, ad hoc and then packages them up because I also ordered a power distribution board as well and as you can see it says ready to fly quads you can make that out right there ready to fly quads okay, so that's a power distribution board receiver wire set pins so I'll have to solder those on and maybe I'll do a video of me uh, soldering those together on the back of the package it shows the the pin layout and then the motor direction so again it looks like it's flashed with uh, with uh, quad X comes with a mini USB, mini or micro, anyways, the one that's typical uh, of your phone charger now. I always get the two mixed up. Um, and then the pins will go on, so you can choose, I guess, however many you need. Uh, I'll have to look up how to do it, but it uh, looks like it'll probably go like that or like that. Anyways. So, this is the board. It is tiny. Definitely way smaller than a KK2. Um, I have a ruler here. And it measures in an inch, an inch and three eighths. And metric, it's a uh, Three point five millimeter, um, thirty five millimeters. So, anyways, that's my experience so far with ready to fly quads. The packaging seems okay. The shipping and the uh, product, the shipping and handling was quite slow, in my opinion. A month, and I'm only in Canada. He's in the, I know he's in Florida, I believe. Um, like, you know. It does seem a little bit slow. Now uh, we'll see how this uh, this board performs. I'm gonna put it in my uh, my micro quad and uh, my mini quad and see see how it performs once I get the pin soldered up. So next video maybe I'll uh, I'll do me uh, soldering up the the pins.